So we learned how to make uh, these clay rabbits and clay uh, animals, which is something that dates back 400 years. That was very interesting, learning where the roots of this tradition are. So I think one of the most uh, um, like memorable for me is the making of Tuaria. Then we saw the Peking Opera, which is also very special. We know that the moon is significant for this holiday. The, today's opera was especially about the moon. This is my very first time to see Peking Opera. I never really have any idea what's uh, happening in the stage or inside the Peking Opera, but now I got to experience it and I've got to learn some moves from the dancer from the Peking Opera. Also trying different costumes of how different characters were dressed like. I remember I was a minister. Uh, like a public official at that time in a, in a, in a red uh, kind of like a dress and it was quite amazing. But it looks to me quite impressive. Another thing that I hadn't ever done before uh, was making a mooncake. And mooncake is one of my absolute favorites in China. So we made mooncakes made of different flavors. It was very fun. I think doing that together made a special meaning of it doing a small like sharing session when we explain more about what the moon means to us in our different cultures. The moon is something that we share all around the world. It means so much for different cultures um, and we have different beliefs for, for what the moon is and getting to know more about how those meanings are attached to the moon uh, in Russia or in Cameroon or in different places of the world really allows us to understand how much we share in common. The idea was to understand, especially in Beijing, what the culture around the Mid-Autumn Festival is. It is a festival for families to get together, but there are also many subcultures, many traditions surrounding it. And I think that's really the best thing to uh, celebrate Mid Autumn Festival is to understanding what's the story behind and sharing it with people. Mid Autumn Festival is the second most significant traditional Chinese festival. Throughout, they invited the, those members to get together and act like a family. We also, through those cultural exchanges, culture uh, projects, culture experience, like make tour a year and uh, experience what is a true Chinese culture uh, at this special festival. Uh, of course, uh, we also uh, would like to explore what is the universal world view of Chinese people. I think the most meaningful part for me was also that we were able to write letters to our loved ones. Uh, we are, of course, a family together. We are here lucky to be surrounded by people from this community. But we also miss those who are not with us. Today uh, was very meaningful, but also we are able to write letters to them and send those letters to them. That was the perfect ending to a very beautiful day.